Have you ever pondered the possibility of the Sphinx of Giza originally having the head of a lion? Could the Sphinx have once been a hall of records or maybe it's even older than the pyramids? These are the captivating mysteries that keep researchers, historians, and the curious hooked. Sphinx is a grand monument carved from the bedrock of the Giza Plateau with a human head and a leonine body. But some suggest that the head could be a later modification. Possibly it started off as a lion's head matching its body. Some researchers argue that the Sphinx's face is newer than its body. According to them, the face we observe today is not the original face of the Sphinx. Some propose that the original face of the Sphinx was that of a lion. This theory originates from the belief that the Sphinx was designed to align with the constellation Leo, the lion, in the night sky. The lion-like body of the Sphinx, they argue, was intentionally designed to reflect the celestial lion. And if this belief holds any truth, the human face we see today would have been added later, most likely to resemble a reigning pharaoh. But regardless of its initial form, the intriguing features of the Sphinx are nothing short of mesmerizing. From a lion's head to a human face, the mystery of the Sphinx continues to astound us. The sands hold many such secrets, eagerly waiting to be unraveled. How old is the Sphinx exactly? Let's delve into the sands of time, just like the Sphinx itself, which has been buried in sand for thousands of years. As we research, we encounter a multitude of theories, each challenging the other. One of the most intriguing is the water erosion theory. This theory from the 1990s suggests that the weathering found on the Sphinx is the result of water rather than wind and sand, indicating that the Sphinx may be older than previously assumed. The reasoning behind it is simple yet profound. The land of the pharaohs was not always a desert. Thousands of years ago it was a lush, green environment soaked in monsoon rains. If this theory is true, then the Sphinx's aged body could represent the remnants of this lost civilization. It could be tens of thousands of years old, even predating the culture that we assume built it. Another compelling theory links the Sphinx to one of the Great Floods. If the Sphinx was indeed present during these significant flood events, it could potentially be as old as Noah's Ark, far older than we ever thought. But wait, numerous Egyptologists challenge these ideas. They assert that the Sphinx's current state is the product of wind erosion rather than water erosion. These scientists support the standard dating, which sets the Sphinx's creation during the era of Pharaoh Khafra, around 4,500 years ago. They claim that the weathering aligns with thousands of years of harsh desert winds and sand rather than water. Where does this leave us? As you might guess, in the realm of captivating mysteries, the Sphinx, with its energetic smile, isn't revealing any secrets. Whether it's thousands or tens of thousands of years old, the Sphinx's age remains a captivating mystery. Did the Sphinx once point to the constellation of Leo? Let's gaze at the stars for answers. Imagine the Sphinx, its mysterious gaze fixed on the horizon, aligning with the stars of the Leo constellation. The connection between the Sphinx and Leo has captivated many. In ancient Egyptian cosmology, the lion held a place of great significance. Leo the lion is one of the 12 zodiac constellations, and its brightest star, Regulus, has been a navigational star for centuries. The Sphinx with its leonine body could have been a celestial marker for this constellation, a guide for those studying the heavens. This interpretation casts the Sphinx as more than a monumental sculpture. It suggests that the Sphinx was part of an intricate cosmic map, a key to understanding the celestial cycles and the passage of time. This perspective transforms the Sphinx from a terrestrial marvel to a cosmic one. The Sphinx, it seems, might have been more than just a terrestrial wonder. The Sphinx of Giza stands alone, a unique monument unlike the usual pairings of the Sphinx isn't unique to Egypt. These luminous creatures have been depicted in different forms and contexts around the world, often as a pair. The Greek Sphinx, for instance, is a mythical creature with the body of a lion, the wings of an eagle, and the head of a woman. A pair of these mythical creatures often guard the entrances to significant structures like the Theban tombs. Moving eastward, we encounter the Shirdal, a sphinx-like figure in Persian culture frequently depicted in pairs in Persepolis, the ceremonial capital of ancient Persians. Similarly, in South and Southeast Asia, the Sphinx appears in both Hindu and Buddhist iconography, again, often in pairs, guarding temples and other sacred sites. Despite this global pattern of paired Sphinxes, the Sphinx of Giza stands alone, 
a testament of the Egyptian's intentional deviation from the norm, bestowing the Sphinx with a solitary grandeur befitting its function or symbolism. The Sphinx continues to intrigue us with its worldwide presence from Egypt to Greece. No matter where we find them or how they're portrayed, these mythical creatures captivate us with their silent strength and enigmatic expressions, reminding us of the enduring allure of ancient mysteries. What's beneath the Sphinx, and why are we not allowed to see it? This question has sparked countless debates and endless speculations. We're diving into the labyrinth of theories that surround the Sphinx's intriguing underside. The Sphinx, in all its majesty, sits atop an elusive underground world. Some theories suggest the existence of a legendary hall of records, a repository of ancient wisdom hidden deep beneath its paws. Others propose that the Sphinx is a gateway, a portal to another dimension. One person, Zahi Hawass, the former Minister of State for Antiquities Affairs in Egypt, has been a significant figure in the Sphinx's narrative. He has steadfastly maintained that there's nothing to discover beneath the Sphinx, dismissing the theories as mere fantasies. Yet the Sphinx, a symbol of knowledge and wisdom, may harbor beneath it, a world waiting to be discovered. The Sphinx's secrets seem to extend beneath its grandeur, locked away from prying eyes. Who knows what truths we could unearth if ever we're given the chance to explore the Sphinx's hidden depths. Could the Sphinx and other parts of the Giza complex be a part of a vast, sacred machine designed to harness the power of the sun? This intriguing question has been brought to life by Mark Lehner's theory. Lehner suggests that the iconic Sphinx of Giza, along with other elements of the complex, was deliberately constructed to sustain the earthly and divine order. Lehner, a respected archaeologist, posits that the ancient Egyptians' understanding of the sun's movements and their faith in sun worship played a significant role in shaping the Sphinx and the surrounding structures. The idea is that these structures, meticulously aligned, could have been used as a form of an early solar calendar, dictating the rhythms of the sacred and agricultural activities. The transformation of this divine machine into the majestic monument we see today would have taken a considerable amount of effort. The ancient Egyptians would have had to work meticulously, carving intricate details to create the Sphinx's distinctive features and ensuring perfect alignment of all structures. Lehner's theory adds another layer to the mystery of the Sphinx. Solar alignment or coincidence, human ingenuity or divine inspiration, the Sphinx's origins continue to be a subject of passionate debate, and that's what makes it such an enduringly fascinating subject. The more we learn, the more questions we have. The Sphinx, silent and inscrutable, continues to guard its secrets, inspiring us to keep seeking the truth about its origins. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like and subscribe button to be a part of Universe Unraveled. I will be uploading weekly and doing a raffle for a free tie-dye t-shirt once I reach 100 subscribers. Stay tuned and have a great week.